In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, a touch of class. When you do something with a touch of class, it means you do something in a way that makes it cooler than normal. Let's think about maybe you're making a dinner for someone special in your life and you think to yourself, if I put some candles on the table for this romantic dinner, it will add a touch of class. So when you add a touch of class to something, it means you add something that makes it a little more special than it normally would be. I thought when I bought these sunglasses that even though they were only a dollar, they add a touch of class to how I look in my videos. And it's nice to have them on a sunny day, but they also add a touch of class. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase world class. When something is world class, it means it's super, super good. Or if someone is world class, it means they're super, super good. Think about your favorite athlete. They are probably a world-class athlete. There are hockey players in Canada that could play on any hockey team in the world because they are world-class athletes. They're some of the best in the world. There's some restaurants in Toronto that are world-class restaurants. They serve food that's just really, really good and people really, really like it. And it's some of the best food in the world. So to review, when you do something with a touch of class, you do it in a way where it's just a little extra special. Or when you add something to something, you can add a touch of class um, by adding things like nice candles for a romantic dinner. And if something is world class or if someone is world class, they are like the best in their field. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is in my pocket somewhere and it is from Shirley. And Shirley says, I always love the last part of the video where teacher Bob takes us on a tour of his well-organized farm. And my response was, you'll be surprised then in the next video as I'll be walking around my town. So let's do that for a bit. Let's walk around my town. I thought that I should do some of these videos on location. In English, when you do something on location, it means you do it like out in the town or out somewhere. Normally I do my videos on location on my farm, but I thought it would be fun to come downtown and shoot the video here. I should walk this way actually. Sorry for spinning you around like that. I hope you didn't get too dizzy. Let's walk a little bit down the sidewalk here. This is a small town, so I'm not too worried about someone taking my tripod, although that could happen, but I doubt that it will. Um, I like the little town that I live close to. I'll be honest, I haven't gotten out here much because of the pandemic, but it's a nice quaint little town. There aren't that many people here. In fact, we only have about two fast food restaurants um, and a few pharmacies. We don't have a hospital. The city or the town isn't big enough for that, but it has all of the things that you would need uh, if you wanted to get things. There's a grocery store. Um, like I said, there's a few fast food restaurants. I should check my time here. Oh, I can talk for 45 more seconds. That's good. There's a place right over there where you can go if you need to renew your license. If you need to go to the doctor, even though there's not a hospital, there is a medical center. A medical center is a place where you can go and see a doctor. And if it's really serious, they'll send you to a hospital. But it's a nice little town. I'll turn around once again so you can see the intersection behind me as I finish off this video. Anyways, thanks for watching. I should wrap this up. I only have 10 seconds left. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a tour of my town. I'll probably do one video a week out here. I'll see you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.